Thank you for joining me for this week's care tip. Now, last week, I got an email from a guy named Michael. Now, Michael is in the same situation that I think many of us have been in. He's fairly new to CAD, and he don't get to spend eight hours in it. So he kind of like jumps in and out of it. And uh, he said that he sometimes feel really unsecure about how to get started. So any of you CAD experts out there, or CAD ninjas, definitely please feel free to share your ideas or comments down in the comment area. That way we can help Michael and other people who is kind of like in this situation of how do we get started. Now beneath here, I put in the link for the playlist for all these care tips. Check out the first video and uh, you will see there that we talked about some of the questions you should ask yourself before you get started with your cat. So definitely check that out. It can definitely be a little difficult to get going with your design when you have this blank screen and you get, you get started. But remember that 2D sketches, what we're using in parametric modeling, always starts on either a face or a plane. That's a rule, right? So always look for a face or a plane. Now, if this is your first sketch, there is no faces to put it on, so it has to be on a plane. And that's why when you're looking here at the screen, and, and I'm inside of Autodesk and Bender, that's what I'm using, but it doesn't really matter what kind of CAD system you're using. It's kind of like the same idea. You have these generic planes you can pick from. So, it's, so to get started, you gotta select a plane because you don't have a face to model on. Now, when you're looking at the general shape, if you're looking at this rocker here, you will see that there is some angles and some curves on it, but if we take and we look from it from the top, we'll probably see that we will just kind of like sketch out the eye outline here and just extrude it out. Do simple sketches. Don't get them too complicated. Just do sim simple sketches and extrude the things out. So like I said before, your sketches always start on either a face or a plane. But even if I have a model and there's faces, there might not be a good face to start from. And I don't hesitate going and just creating my sketches on planes. And most CAD system has some really good functions to create planes. So definitely check out the different options to create planes so you can just start your sketches there instead of on faces. Now the second rule is that we always want to fully define our sketches. That's just a rule. Don't leave your sketches underdefined, meaning that you can drag corners around. We need to lock the sketch down. And we always start with constraints and then dimensions, okay? And if you're a new user, constraints can be a little bit difficult to understand, but it's pretty much like hinges or bolts in our design. So if you're looking here at these sketch geometries, if you know the two lines should always be parallel, go ahead and use the parallel constraints. The same thing is that if you know the two lines should be perpendicular, that means like 90 degrees for all my non-English speaking friends out there, instead of placing a 90 degree dimension, use the perpendicular. Only use dimensions if you know that this might change. But if you know it will always stay 90, use constraints. And then my last rule to remember is that whenever you apply these constraints, the first constraint you should always apply is the tangent one. And that's the one that makes sure that your sketches don't turn into like a cursive F or an eight or something. So any times that I sketch, I sketch up my part, I will always, the first thing I always will do is I will go on and apply tangent relationship to anywhere where that is needed before I even start worrying about anything else. I kind of like make sure that your sketch don't blows up and start getting all tangled up. So a quick summarize, we always start our sketches on a face or a plane. And don't forget, if there's not a good face, you can always go up and create these uh, planes yourself. And, and most CAD systems have some really good options how to create those. You just gotta get a little familiar with them. Always fully define your sketch and make sure you apply your constraints before your dimensions. That will also make your sketches less, less crowded. And the first constraint is always tangency. Get that one on there. That will make sure that your sketch don't completely crumble up and become a mess. Hey, all your CAD experts out there, I would love you to take the time to put your tips down in the comment area. That will help everybody who reads this. I know I will. And if you haven't already, I would love if you hit that subscribe button. That also makes sure that you get the next week's CAD tip. Thank you so much for joining me. 